Hello coders, I am Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video we are going to add a new script to our simple scripting series in Unity. Now in our week ahead video we said that we would be releasing a video covering Mixamo today but we had to move the videos around because of the 4th of July holiday which is actually happening today so happy 4th of July to everybody. Now so far we have covered a lot of functionality within our simple scripting series and we have created several lerping scripts that lerp varying attributes for a multitude of objects. But one thing that that we have not created a lerp for yet is the scale of an object. So let's go ahead and do that in this video. First of all though, let's take a look at what we will actually be creating. So if I press play here, we can see that my object moves away from me and it actually increases scale and then decreases scale back down. And it will repeat this for as long as the game runs. If I go to my scene view now, we can actually see it scaling up and down a little bit better. Okay, cool. Okay, now that we have taken a look at what we are actually going to be creating, let's go to our project panel and go to our scripts directory. And inside of the scripts directory, we can just right click create a C sharp script and we can just call this script our scale lerper. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and get this script opened up and get to work. Okay, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is get rid of my update function. We will not need it for this script. And I'm actually going to change my start function to an I enumerator. Okay, very cool. Now let's go ahead and set up some variables that we're going to need for this script. The first thing I'm going to create is a private vector 3 that we can call our min scale. Next, I'm going to create a public vector 3 that we can call our max scale. We're going to create a public bool that we can just call repeatable. We're gonna need a public float for our speed that we can just set to like 2F initially. And we're gonna need a public float for our duration that we can set to 5F initially. So that's gonna do it for our initial variables. All of those are pretty self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and go into our start function. And the first thing we're actually gonna do inside of our start function is set our min scale is equal to our transform dot local scale. And we're doing this so that after we scale our, our object up, we can scale back down to the initial size of the object. So that just helps us to only have to maintain one scale value inside of our inspector. The next thing we're going to do, since this is an I enumerator, is we're going to create a while function and say while repeatable. We want to do two things. So we want to lerp up scale and we want to lerp down our scale. And to do these two things, we actually need to create a new function. So let's go outside of our start function and we're going to create a new public I enumerator and we can just call this a repeat lerp. We're going to pass in a vector three that we can call A, another vector three that we can call B and a float for our time. Okay, and if this is actually looking fairly familiar, we did something very similar when we lerped the position of our objects in a previous video. So we're gonna do the exact same function here, but we are going to actually lerp up and down our scale instead of the position. So the first thing that we want to do here is set a float i equal to 0.0f. Next, we're going to set up a float rate we're gonna set that equal to 1.0F divided by the time passed in. We're gonna multiply that by our speed. Okay, so when you think of a lerp, you need to think of it moving from A to B, right? And so basically zero is our start and one is our completion. And that's what these two variables are going to be used for. We're going to start at zero and slowly increment until we get to one. So what we actually wanna do after we get our rate set up is say while I, is less than 1.0 F, then we want to actually increase our scale. But the first thing we need to do is actually increase I. So we're gonna say I plus equals time dot delta time multiplied by the rate. And next we're going to increase the scale. So we need to say transform dot local scale is equal to a vector three dot lerp. And we need to pass in our A, B, and I variables here. Finally, we actually have to return something from this function. So we are going to say yield return null. So that's actually all we have to do for this function. So we can actually go back up to our re while repeatable call inside of our start function. Just delete the first comment and we can actually just say yield return and we actually want to return our repeat lerp function. We're going to pass in the min scale first max scale second and pass in our duration last. And now we can delete our second comment here and just do a yield return. And actually we can just go ahead and copy this, paste it. And we're just gonna change max scale to be first and min scale to be the second vector passed in. 
So now let's actually go ahead and save this because that's all we need for this script. It's very simple, very fast, and pretty awesome. So now let's go back out to our scene here. Make sure we don't have any errors. Doesn't look like we do here. Awesome. So now let's go click on our cube object here in our scene. And now let's go ahead and add our component. So we can just click add component and say scale lerper. And we do actually have to set up a couple of variables here. So what we can do is actually set our max scale to a value of 15 in the X, five in the Y, and we can leave the Z set to one. And I'm setting it to a value of 15 because my plane down here has a value of 15. So I want this object to scale out to the width of the box below it. We definitely want repeatable to be checked because if it's not checked then the scale will not be updated and we can actually leave our speed and duration set to the defaults here. Okay so that should cover the initial values so let's check out our game mode at now to see if that script is actually working so I'm gonna go ahead and press play and now we can see the block is moving away from us because of our lerper script here and then it's scaling up and scaling back down pretty smoothly looks pretty good right it's pretty cool stuff definitely a pretty cool script you may notice that as the Y scale increases the block actually pushes down through the bottom block or our floor here and that's happening because of the position of this cube so the position is not being updated in the Y so it's maintaining that Y position and just increasing the scale Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that. So this is just a really short, simple script here. I've noticed a lot of questions on like Unity forums and Stack Overflow and things like that around how to do a script like this one. And so I did wanna go ahead and add that into our simple scripting series because it really fits the formula of this series very well. But that is actually gonna do it for this video, coders. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.